Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and I have been consumed by this Inspiration4 mission uh, ever since it was announced a couple of weeks ago. If you don't know what this is, they're launching four civilians into space on a SpaceX rocket, and it's happening later this year. I checked in with SpaceX just to confirm this was legit, and it is, and of course they advertised this thing during the Super Bowl also. And they're going to be picking two of the crew members through two different contests. One is something where you can contribute to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital and get a number of entries depending on how much you contribute. And the other way you can win uh, is to set up a shop, an online shop, at shiftforshop.com. And I did that because my online store that I have been running for previously used items that I've reviewed here on the channel is self-hosted and can be a pain to manage. And their hosting is free. You just pay the payment processing, which is the same price I'm paying now. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try this and see what happens. So I did make a contribution to St. Jude's a few weeks ago. And yesterday I said, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make a video. I'm going to put the shop up and just see what happens. So I made the video. I want you all to watch it and tell me what you think. So take a look. Hi there, my name is Lon Seibin, and growing up I had two dreams that I wanted to accomplish in life. The first was to have my own TV show, and the second was to go into space. Now I largely achieved the first goal. I built up a YouTube channel from nothing to about 300,000 subscribers. It is now my full-time job and has been for the last three and a half years or so. I'm making a good living doing something that I love, and that is reviewing consumer electronics. And I have plans to grow out an incubator and accelerator space to help other people in the commodity content space that I operate in launch their own efforts as well. And I'm really looking forward to that. But I also cover my passions, and one of those passions is space. And all of this stuff that I'm doing today for a career began when I got an email from NASA 10 years ago inviting me to a tweet up to watch the final launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. And witnessing that launch up close was a real life-changing event for me and I decided that I really wanted to pursue independent content creation as a career. My hope was to cover the space program, which I did for the following year as the space shuttle program slowly wound down. And I was very disappointed to hear that so many people thought that the U.S. space program was ending with the space shuttles, and that was certainly not the case. So I went back down to Florida with my friend from ctnewsjunkie.com here in Connecticut, and we wrote a story about the future of the space program and how part of that future will involve commercial space flight operators like SpaceX. That story won an award that year for in-depth journalism. We are very gratified by that, but also by the fact that we were getting people interested in the future of space flight. And now that future is here, and the growth of my independent media operation has allowed me to continue covering these stories. I've been to a number of NASA and SpaceX launches, giving viewers the feeling of what it's like to actually be there, but nothing would compare to doing this story from orbit, and I would be honored to be the first journalist to go into space to share that experience with the world. And regardless of outcome here, the Shift 4 Shop platform has already saved me time and money by allowing me to move my online store over to their free platform, but I would very much love the opportunity to continue telling this great story about the future of spaceflight, and I greatly appreciate your consideration. So I think that's probably the first time you've heard music in any of my videos under my voice, but that's my story. In fact, everything that I do uh, started from that NASA tweet up that I got invited to 10 years ago. And the video that I just posted uh, was made on the 10 year anniversary of that launch. I can't believe it's been a decade, but it really set my life kind of in a new direction. And a lot of people that went with me on that trip uh, put their lives in new directions as well. In fact, one guy is working at Mission Control in Houston now. It's amazing what uh, this experience can do for you. So the end of the story here is that I want to go. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. My wife is okay with it. It's going to be a, certainly an adventure if we're picked, but I think it would be an awesome story to tell all of you about and the rest of the world for that matter. There's never been a journalist sent to space, and I think that would be a real value to the mission that they're about to do. And if it happens, great. If not, I got a free store now, so that's good. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to help me, if you could go over to Twitter where I posted this video and do a retweet, that will be very helpful because it looks like they're taking the top trending videos and having those be the ones that they consider. And I'm certainly not a very popular person on Twitter, so if you could maybe head over there, there's a link in the video description and just hit that retweet button.
that'll go a long way to helping blast me off the planet. Now what's great about this is that if you like me, you can watch me live out a lifelong dream going into space. If you don't like me, you're going to be helping blasting me off the planet for a couple of days, and that's probably a good thing too. So you really can't lose here. So definitely hit that retweet button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. If it happens, which is probably a long shot, uh, I will certainly continue doing the channel afterward. Uh, but in the couple of months that it'll take to get trained and go into space, we'll probably document that process of becoming a civilian astronaut, which I think would be pretty interesting, even if you're not always interested in space topics here on the channel. And then when I get back, we'll be back to business as usual. We'll continue covering tech items and then occasionally doing a couple of space stories like we're doing now. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Again, a long shot, but I'd love your help to make it a little bit less of a long shot. And again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Jim Peter, Tom Albrecht, Frank Lewandowski, Mark Bollinger, and Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.